Welcome to Awaken Steps to Health with Sue. Today's topic is exercise. And when we talk about exercise, there's three components, cardio, flexibility, and strength. And you can get them all in the same exercise, or you could vary what you're doing each day. One of the reasons I'd like to um, encourage you to exercise is to keep the energy flowing through your body, all right? If you're sitting at a desk or sitting on the couch all day long or doing stagnant things, the energy is not flowing through your body as well, and it kind of gets jammed up. So we basically get injury, illness, cranky body parts, and really what the big reason is, the energy that we're downloading all right, because there's so much energy coming into earth right now, we're not able to um, absorb that quite as easily. We might have some health issues. We might not feel as good. If we're exercising, that allows the energy to flow through our body um, easier. Okay. So that's really the big reason you want to exercise. Now, obviously, we know that we look better, we feel better, we control our weight, we have healthier organs, healthier systems, healthier skin, all of those other added benefits if we exercise. But really, I guess my biggest point to you is we want the energy to flow through our body easy and quick without any blockages or interferences. Exercise could and can be and should be enjoyable. So you just may have to find something you like to do or people you like to do it with. So exercise can be really social as well. All right. So I started, um, you know, in, in my life way back when no one exercised because our life was much more physical than it is now. There wasn't a lot of TV on, you know, we didn't have the computers and the video games and all the stuff that we do now. We were more physical. So exercise was an oddity way back when. Well, now it's something that everyone should do. Got to sneeze. Combined with the right foods, exercise can really improve your health. Again, you can lose a lot of weight. You can take the energy in and you feel better. You look better. Your body moves better. Your confidence is better because of it as well. So here's what I would recommend. Find a buddy to do whatever activity you want to try because having someone to keep you accountable is a really good way to do it, right? Make it social, make it fun. You don't have to spend a penny to join a gym, to buy any special clothes or whatever. You can literally walk around your block and get exercise. Now, I see people out all the time with their headsets and all that. And they're missing nature. They're missing the birds. They're missing beautiful trees. They're missing what their neighbors are doing. So I would suggest walk and enjoy nature, breathe. It can be very meditative and soothing as well. And you'll feel good about yourself when you're done. So you can start with something super easy. Get a neighbor to go walking with you every day. And again, if you know your neighbor is going to be standing at your front door at a certain time, you're going to get moving and get out there and not slack. All right. So having someone to keep you accountable is a really good way to start. I recommend you try to vary your exercises. So let's say you choose to walk because you really don't want to sweat or whatever. Walking is great. And it's really consistency that really makes you feel better. So doing it every day. You might want to pick up some hand weights or whatever every once in a while just to do a couple things with your arms. And then you may want to look online for videos that will teach you more in-depth exercise. All right. Now, so like I said, I grew up not exercising, not needing to, like it was kind of crazy to think about. And then as time went on, society changed, the way we live changed. I had more stress on me, so I started running which I've never really loved, okay? But I worked my way up slowly. I ran every day and then I started lifting weights. I started teaching fitness. So I taught aerobics, I taught spin class, I taught a Pilates, I taught everything. And then I discovered yoga and yoga is really my thing right now. So I try to do yoga every day. And right now I'm doing a more of a power class. So I'm getting my flexibility, strength and cardio all in one little package. But I vary that with gentle classes. 
And obviously I do other activities. I walk, I swim, I keep the body moving. So I do as much as I can fit into my day in an enjoyable fashion. What I like about going to a gym or a studio is when you're a regular, people will keep you accountable. If you don't show up, they'll be like, where were you yesterday? And, you know, you don't want that. It's kind of fun because you give it back to them when they don't show up, right? But you will develop healthy friendships. It will expand your horizons, okay? In our bubble up group, there's a sheet called 10 Top Reasons to Exercise. There's a lot of logic there. But to boil it down for those that don't like to exercise, you have to find something you like to do, even if it's small, and do it every day consistently. And it's really, really helps to have a, a buddy to keep you accountable. I hope this was semi-motivating or helpful just to remind you to keep the body moving because you want that energy to come in in a productive, healthy way.